Hi everyone, welcome back. And if you're new here, welcome. I'd love to have you part of the family. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. For this DIY, you'll need everything from the Dollar Tree. You're going to need three square mirrors, three wooden frames, three round glass jars, and two bags of the sand. You can also have this in white sand, um, but I just prefer the black one. It just stands out more. And three little silver tea light holders. I also saw these in gold, red, and blue. So starting off, I'm going to take the stand off the picture frame. I'm taking these off because I'm going to need the back completely flat. I forgot to mention you're going to need a black poster board from the Dollar Tree and then you're just going to cut it out and fit it into the photo frame. Placing the frame side by side, I'm going to take my pen and start aligning where I want to cut the foam board. Next, I'm going to place my picture frame in the middle just so I can have an idea where I want the picture frames to go and that it has enough space on each side. Next step is just getting my hot glue gun and gluing the photo frames on top. There are edges right here in these photo frames, so this is where I'm going to place the square mirrors and then I'm going to get my hot glue gun and start gluing. I definitely recommend to take your time when you're going to be using the hot glue gun in this part because when you place the mirror on top, some of the glue did smudge out and it was harder to take off, so that's just a little tip. For this part, I didn't glue down the glass bowls. I just thought it was easier to place them on top of the mirrors, but if you want that permanent look, you can go ahead and glue them down. Next, I'm just gonna be adding the black sand in each bowl. Since I'm only using two sandbags, I just went ahead and divided it in three, if that makes sense, with the two bags. I want the sand to be flat, so I'm just going to shake each bowl. The last step was just adding the tea lights in there, and then I wanted to add extra bling, so I did have some little rhinestones left over from previous projects, and I went ahead and just placed them in there. And here's the final result you guys. I really hope you like it. This was different for me. I've had a lot of requests to do rustic glam style and I've never done anything with wood in my DIYs so this was a first and I'm glad to get out of my comfort zone. I think it just turned out really beautiful and welcoming. I placed it in the entryway and when it's on at night the tea lights look so warm and welcoming so let me know where you would style it. You can put this in your dining room or in your kitchen or in your coffee table. The ideas just go on and on and the blend I just had to add it, you know.
This next DIY, you're going to need one foam board, one black poster board, 10 mirror photo frames, and a hot glue gun. And grabbing the back of the photo frame, I'm going to take the stand off and then go ahead and use the black poster board and cut out a piece to insert in the frame. I'm going to be making a mirror tray so I went ahead and put it on the foam board and I don't want the foam board to be shown so I left it an inch apart and I'm just going to cut an inch away from each section. To save some time, I went ahead and cut some of the black poster that I had, so I put it in the middle of the foam board and then just started gluing my mirrors on top. And I just glued every single mirror down just this way. And for the black poster, you can also add something clear on top. That way it's not just the poster. I just didn't have anything on hand, but it's that clear paper that you can use if you want that shiny effect. And this is how it turned out, you guys. Here I placed it on my ottoman and I just decorated it with a little flower bouquet and a little candle. I'm not going to light up the candle. I just liked it for the look of it. And you can also place your remote controls on here. Um, just let me know what you would use it with in the comments below. I'd love to know your ideas. So this concludes my video. Thank you all so much for watching and all your continued love and support. It always means so, so much to me. And as always, have a beautiful and blessed day. I'll talk to you in my next video.